Okay, so this video I'm going to talk about how to take notes uh, in class. And taking notes I really feel is something that is very important for if you're trying to give advice to someone for how they could succeed and how they could reach their goals in high school, I really think. Because many times the teachers will often uh, give lessons on whether it is reviewing the homework questions or maybe even just going over the lesson, um, you know, or providing some more lesson content as well. Uh, notes are really helpful in this aspect because they really do help you understand the course material and it really helps you to remember the lesson content as well for further things that happen in the course such as exams. Um, and there are so many different ways to do this and so many different students have their own way of writing notes and that's great. If you have a method of taking notes that helps you and you are very confident in this way of taking notes and it's worked for you in the past in evaluations such as exam, sorry, as exams, that is great. But if you are kind of stuck on how to possibly do that, I'm going to show you my method. So I'm hoping today that my method could at least help you maybe possibly provide a method for taking notes or maybe to help you kind of consider a certain method that could help you uh, succeed in your goals in high school. Um, because I really do think it is important because you will be doing a lot of this, of course, because it really does help, I think, get you ready for uh, course evaluations, of course, that happen in the future. Um, I will show you the way how I took notes for myself, and this example that I'm going to show you was through a lesson that I was given in a geography course uh, in one of my years of high school that was based on world issues. So what I like to do is I like to write the title of the subject at the very top of the page. So world issues is at the top of the page right here, so I highlighted that just so I knew the title and what the overall uh, topic that I was writing about during my uh, uh, notes. So I wrote that at the very top just so I could have that there to know uh, what I am writing about. And I uh, write subtitles in, in just in the middle here, uh, in the middle of the page, just so I could separate that out, just so I know what I am talking about in a certain uh, part of the note taking that I am in. So th this helps because I know what the title, uh, I know what the subtitles are and they really help, you know, provide clarification of what I'm writing about. And um, many parts of the lesson and, the, you know, the textbooks that I've been given by many teachers in the past in high school, uh, have different components to the lectures or the possibly when they're taking up homework. So oftentimes I really do feel it is to kind of just to make it apparent of what the title is. You want to write it in the middle of the page just so that you can just, uh, just know the difference between when you're writing a note and when you're uh, write, you know, writing the title of something that you're going to talk about uh, in your notes. Um, and underneath the subtitle, I would track down points that really prov uh, sum up the overall significance of this component of the notes that you're writing. So underneath, as you see, I put little point marks there just to kind of, um, you know, uh, write my separate points down. And I would really focus on just writing the overall significant points. Um, and the reason why is because there is a lot of stuff that students feel that they do need to write. And oftentimes before what I have done that I have found to be very problematic is, is that I will be writing, trying to write everything that the teacher is saying or trying to write everything down from the lesson and that ends up not working well because I do miss some points as I'm focused on writing down so many other things and I end up still writing about five minutes after the lesson is done. And that's really something you do not want to do because then you're missing out on the overall uh, uh, main points of the lesson, which can be, of course, problematic for later on. So you really want to focus on the main points. I would focus on writing the main points here. So, for example, I talk about climate change as my first uh, point, uh, the subtitle here in the World Issues uh, notes that I took. So um, I wrote down this, uh, this significant points that I received in the lesson. That was changes throughout cli uh, climate affect our world. Uh, your actions affect the outcomes of climate change. Uh, major corporations have affected climate change, such as burning fossil fuels. Temperatures are becoming warmer due to actions of humans. Sea levels rise when uh, and is taking away uh, land that belongs to other people. And people have lost resources, such as food and medicine. So 
those are some very important points, and I really wanted to focus on the overall significance, not focusing too much on the facts there. And that's what I did, at least when I took my notes, because I did feel that taking, taking the overall significant points uh, was something that I found really important to kind of just uh, prepare for future evaluations that were in the course, of course. And uh, you want to, another thing I really think is important, you want to write the date. I do it at the top, top uh, right corner here, typically, just so you can remember when you took these notes. So when you do prepare for a test, you can gather all the notes that you took from a certain time period to the other when you were learning about that lesson uh, content in particular or that uh, part of the course. And then you could just uh, end up writing uh, notes for the test, which I will talk about, of course, in a bit. Um, but yeah, this is a great way that it's helped me through lectures uh, in university as well. It helped me break down the really the lesson content and just, just dissect what's important because a lot of times there is a lot that happens during the lesson and you do and it's really going to be difficult for you to remember everything of course. But if you have a way like this, this note taking method where you can break down just what is significant. So you're not left writing five minutes after the lesson is done. I think this is really important and I think that's something you want to definitely focus on. Uh, whether or not you uh, like my uh, method of taking notes or not. So, um, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching.